All right, nice easy small job to do on the M5 today. Got S85 V10, masterpiece of an engine. But in saying that, there is two things that will kill these engines and it's gonna start getting expensive pretty bloody quickly. Now the first thing is obviously the rod bearings. These engines are known to have issues uh, with rod bearings. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, um, it's all over the internet. It's been blown way out of proportion. But it is known to happen. There are things you can do to prevent it, like irregular oil changes, changing the rod bearings themselves out preventatively before they fail. And the biggest thing is let the bloody car warm up properly before you start revving it out. That's the biggest thing. Now, the other problem, the second one, that doesn't get talked about that often, is the injectors can get stuck open on these motors. Uh, so what happens, they can get dirty, the injector will stick open and it'll just start dumping fuel into your cylinders. And that's not good news when you're spinning a motor up past 8,000 RPMs, it can get messy pretty bloody quickly and bloody expensive. Um, see what can happen initially, it can wash the oil off your cylinders and uh, you get premature cylinder wear but the main thing that can happen is it'll start dumping fuel into the cylinder and you hydrolock the motor and something is, something's going to give and again like the rod bearings there are steps you can take to prevent this from happening up to a certain extent so a little job we're going to do today I'm just going to dump some of this in some fuel injection cleaner now I always fill the car up with good quality fuel anyway um, always 98 octane um, super unleaded um, but it's worth sticking some of this through well, maybe every six months just to make sure it's, it's getting a good clean and there's nothing, uh, no particles building up in there or anything. You can take the injectors out and get them ultrasonic cleaned, tested, but you shouldn't have to go to them lengths if you're using some decent fuel all the time and then just stick some of this stuff in now and again or something similar. So there's many brands out there. I don't know what the differences are to be honest with you, but they all, they're all pretty much the same I think. I know they all smell they all seem to smell like jet fuel, like Jet A1, um, which is like a heavily refined kerosene. But anyway, what you want to do is just stick it in with a full tank of gas, let it mix around a bit and then uh, go on your way. And by the time your tank's empty, your, in your injectors should have had a good flush through. And what I paid like 16 bucks New Zealand for one of these. Uh, it's a damn sight cheaper than uh, dealing with a Hydrolock S85. Anyway, there's something to keep in mind. It's something worth doing. I'm Ammon Tech Guy. Thanks for watching.